Hi, my name is Melanie Mitro, and I'm a Team Beach Buddy coach, but I'm also a blogger, and I absolutely love my blog. It has been a, a huge driver of my success in my business. It's given me the ability to reach out and connect with people that I never would have come in contact with if it wasn't for me writing on a daily basis. And so I've done a few things that have helped to make my blog successful. It hasn't just been the writing, but it's been the way that I've shared my blog and gotten that information out to other people. Plus, the amount of content I have on my blog is immense, and so I need to have a way to keep it organized, a place that you know people can go and find exactly what they're looking for. When you write a blog, everything's just listed in sequential order by the day that you posted it. So if you wanted to find a recipe that you wrote two years ago, you would be scrolling for a very long time to find that article two years ago. Well, tabs give you the ability to be able to organize things that you want to be able to reference and find at any moment in time. And so when you go to my blog and you look across the top, you see all these different tabs. You've got my home screen, the recipes, meal planning, Shakeology, Beachbody coaching, you know, all of these different places you can go to get specific information that I wrote about in my blog at a specific point in time. So we're gonna talk today about creating links. So if you were to go to my Eat Clean Recipes tab on my blog, what would show up is a series of links that I have created. These are all other blog posts that I have done in the past. So, for example, my mocha yogurt parfait was an article that I wrote almost two years ago. But if you go to my this specific page, you can click on it, you can get the recipe right then and there. So, how does one create this type of a link? Well, let me tell you, you want to start out by creating a new post. So click on the button, new post. Now, once you've created this new post, you're going to type right in there the recipe that you are wanting to put out there to give people other information. So, for example, the mocha yogurt parfait, you're going to go through, you're going to type out the ingredients and the directions. I always suggest that you use an actual image so people have that visual. I'm a visual person, I wanna see what it looks like. That helps me to determine whether or not I even wanna make it. Once you complete your recipe, I want you to hit the publish button. Once you hit the publish button, that's gonna create an actual blog post. That if you were to go to your blog, you would be able to see that. So for example, here's all my previous blog posts that I've written. I want you to go and click the view. Once you click view, you're gonna get this address at the top. This is your link to go directly to that specific post. And I want you all to copy that link. Now, I want you to go back to your list of all of your posts and go over here to pages. Click on the pages tab. And then if you haven't done this yet, I want you to click new page and create a new page. So for example, it would be your eat clean recipes. And so you're going to go in there to that specific place and as you can see, you're gonna go in and you're gonna type in the recipe that you wanna put in there. So for example, if we're gonna do mocha yogurt parfait, then you're gonna highlight that and you're gonna click link. You're going to paste in there the link. You're gonna hit the okay button. And as you can see, it says right there that it is now linked. You have an underline to it. You're going to save it and from that point, now, when you go, you will be able to see that actual recipe posted there. And when you go there, you click on that link, it's going to take you directly to that recipe that you have. And so it's an easy way for you to keep ideas organized and categorized so that other people can find them very easily. The one thing you do want to do is make sure that your links across the top say show as top tabs. You want those to show across the top or down the side so that people can easily find them as well. You definitely don't want it to say hide your tabs because then it won't show up on your blog and you'll be frustrated because you won't know where to find them at. So again, your goal for today is to take a recipe, take a tip, take something and make a page across the top of your blog and add some content in there. Get in the habit of always linking previous posts to current posts. So if you reference Shakeology, link that specific word Shakeology to a blog post that you did about Shakeology, even if it was a year ago. 
This way, the more clicks people have within your blog, the more popular that it makes you. It increases your affinity and helps you to move up in the search for Google. I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions or you would like any, if you have any follow-up questions for me, please post them below in the comments and stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, find me on Facebook, and follow me for more tips on nutrition, fitness, and blogging. And have a wonderful day and thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my recording.